good evening guys how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking it was a tough week because we had so many votes on brexit from the uk parliament uh, on last tuesday wednesday and thursday uh, they finally have voted to delay the brexit but the pound was making so naughty pips uh, during that time so it was indeed a very tough week but somehow ma Angela managed to get out with it with a good uh, and decent profit. Unfortunately, the first two days were really bad. March 4 and March 5, they were bad. But today is uh, 15, so that was like 10 days ago. And since then, uh, Angela is making very good results in her signals. And we can see uh, after 4th and 5th of March, we can see uh, the green is coming back. Uh, the results are full of green. Even March 11 is completely full of a green, 100% winning ratio. Uh, no. Uh, March 12, I don't know what happened later, but I'm sure it was good because I have here a picture from one uh, chat with one of the members on March 13. He was very happy. He sent Angela saying great signals today, lots of money, lots of cash. So really, indeed, uh, very well done, Angela. Thank you for the good signals and thanks for again making me proud of uh, your work and to match up with the brand name of Extreme Trader. I know there is a lot of people who don't agree with the signals type, but I have sent a message to everyone asking them if they are happy and they agreed that they are actually indeed happy. It took them time to understand these signals, but in the end they are satisfied with the service and for that, <clears throat> for that I'm really thankful. So. Uh, so the thing here guys is I have been receiving many questions about my hit and run strategy the strategy is going viral it's very successful and actually there are a lot of members finally able to make money and changing their lives because of this strategy now uh, I'm receiving a lot of questions about the strategy people who need clarification about it now if you go to my extreme trader channel you can see all these videos <coughs> sorry uh, explaining hit and run strategy in details we have it here in this video which I have made last year and we have also <coughs> part two uh, we have uh, identify strong support and resistance we have how to select entry point hit and run common mistakes to avoid we have a lot of videos explaining hit and run we have this also four hour 15 15 minutes so this might make a confusion for the viewer because they want to know the strategy they heard about it from their friends that extreme trader is making a strategy he's publishing it on the internet for free what is the strategy when they open the channel they just get confused because there is so many videos talking about the strategy so I decided it's time to put the strategy in one video and by the way don't expect it to be short time video it will be long video and you need to take your time watching it because I cannot explain this great strategy in a very short video but I will try my best to short it <laughs> okay so let's go to the details of the strategy first the strategy rules and then I will explain why it's the best strategy uh, by convincing not by just I don't want you guys to just just remember the rules I want you to be convinced uh, by logic why it is really strong strategy and very powerful so now let's go to the strategy rules first what is the strategy rules the strategy rules by the way it is very simple it is switching to the bigger, bigger time frame as you know we have here the time frames from one minute to one month we need to go to the bigger time frame and we have to see the chart to know where are we right now on the chart for example now on the four hour chart I can see that I am on a resistance if I am on a resistance that means only one option one chance I have to do here which is sell because the golden rule strategy in Forex is buy low and sell high. So again, on four hour chart, I know that I am on a resistance level, meaning I need now to switch to the smaller time frame from five minutes to 30 minutes. 
whatever convenience to you and here you have to look for the option for sell only exclusively don't even look for any buy options here you can never buy on the resistance unless you are expecting a breakout candle and that is a totally different uh, section <clears throat> so again the golden rule here go to the four hour chart then switch to the 15 mi uh, minute five or 15 minute time frame and look for a sell option and i will explain to you later what do you, wh where should i place my sell uh, again let's go to the four hour chart and uh, i'm just checking another one okay here on the usdch for example i am on four hour chart and i can see right now that i am on a resistance level meaning if i am sorry support <laughs> support not resistance i am on a support level so if i am on a support level that mean one thing meaning buy meaning i will now switch to the smaller time frames smaller time frames and look for any opportunity for buy not for sell don't worry guys i will go to all details later so now we get the point that we always have to switch to the four hour chart or even daily see guys the thing here the idea here of uh, hit and run is we need to look at i mean, maybe i need to write that one not this one shit man okay the idea of hit and run uh, open the bigger time frame and find your location on the market it could be four hour it could be a daily chart it could be a weekly or even monthly we don't care as long as you are on the bigger time frame why because the bigger the time frame the more uh, realistic and more honest or true level you are on uh, for example if on the four hour chart you can see that you are now on a support level okay but if you go to the small time frame you can see yourself on a resistance then you start uh, to sell and that is actually quite bad you don't want to sell while you are actually on a support level on the bigger time frames meaning now the first rule is open the bigger time frame and find your location so you just need to know if you are now on a support or a resistance level this checked next step uh, move to the quite smaller time frame such as uh, five minute uh, 15 minute 30 minute maximum and follow the strategy rules okay good uh, <clears throat> now what are the strategy rules and why are we moving to the smaller time frame because now with the strategy rules is the resistance level is always gonna be a resistance forever and the support level is always gonna be a support level forever now i'm on the four hour time frame allow me to show you this example look at that this support level uh, even after the breakout the bearish breakout and this bullish breakout this support this support here kept the position as a support and it didn't change it is still a support so what is the rules here uh, allow me to explain it on the four hour chart i will go later to the smaller time frame uh, let me show you this i made this for you this one here when you see a bullish breakout candle which is green breakout candle exactly like this one guys exactly like this one this is a breakout candle when you see a candle like that <clears throat> oh okay when you see a candle like that a green candle you have to look at the left to find the nearest support nearest level of support so for example this is the candle here like that and i'm just uh, looking at the left side and i see here there is a support level just next to this breakout candle the green breakout candle now what do i need to do waiting for the market to come down again touching exactly the same level of this support so this level of support will remain as a support 
meaning I will place here my buy option vice versa if we are seeing this uh, breakout candle the bearish breakout candle and if I look at the left side and I see there was here a resistance level near to this bearish breakout candle the long red candle I need to mark a line here at the resistance at the previous resistance on the left side and wait for the market to come up again this resistance will remain as a resistance and then here I can place uh, this will be a resistance and I can place here my sell order this chart here is actually making this very simple it's, it's, it's simplify it why because we have here a great example once I see a bullish breakout candle I need to prepare for a setup now what I will do is I will look at the left side and you have to make it the same range of the closing and opening of the candle so when you see this breakout candle this is the breakout candle okay once you see it draw a line like that draw a line here and right here at the closing and the opening of the candle okay look at the left where is the nearest resistance you can see just like scan with your eyes scan where is the uh, support 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 where is the support here this is the nearest support to this uh, long bear, uh, bullish breakout candle this is the nearest support so what you will do you will prepare to play best to play uh, to, <laughs> to place buy order at same level and check this out the same level of this support remained as a support like that <clears throat> here and I will go to the way of how we draw this line exactly here later so again the strategy rules this level of the support remains as a support now are we done yet no we are not done yet because we also have another support which is here this is another support so what I will do is I will draw another line on this support here like that then look at the left what happened later we can see that we had a reversal here and also a reversal here so this support has kept its position as a support because I see it happening right after this long bullish breakout candle that is fantastic not only that if we want to look more to the left and let's apply it now on the resistance uh, we have now this one here the long bearish breakout candle so the rules the strategy the, the strategy <laughs> rule sorry draw a line at the opening and the closing price of this breakout candle and let's scan with our eyes where is the nearest resistance to this breakout candle scan with your eyes where is the resistance this is a support a support 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 aha resistance is here this is the nearest resistance to this level meaning I need to wait now the candles to come up to the same level and check this out after marking this line here so we see this bullish uh, sorry bearish breakout candle then we look at the left and ha huh, we see here a resistance so this resistance will remain as a resistance later and even here and even here it remained as a resistance therefore I can place sell order here and get out with a few pips and actually very good pips of profit so the idea guys is very clear right that this resistance will remain as a resistance so in short terms when you see a very long uh, breakout candle green breakout candle prepare for buy options prepare to see uh, setups of uh, previous support and draw your line on a way matching uh, the next uh, level when this mark when the candles come down to the same level so you will place buy on the same level of the previous support let's go to the part and telling you how to draw your line 
it is very important now you saw me drawing my support line like that okay but why like that why not like that why not like that why here even this one why here why not like this so look at that if I draw my line based on touching the very bottom of this week here we can see that the market has never touched it meaning I will waste the opportunity of entering the setup but if I draw it on the right way like that now I have guaranteed a good entry and we can see I have here entry number one and another entry for buy which has given me profit and we can see the candles barely go below this level so what is the trick here the trick here is very simple you need to draw your line if we look here guys look at this support it is consists of four weeks we can see this week number one two three four uh, you have to draw your line in a way that the line touching the shortest week among them so if I look let me, let me zoom in. maybe it's better if I zoom in here um, so yeah this is the one guys here if I want to draw my line in a way touching the shortest week among them where is the shortest week the shortest week is this one okay this one the second guy so you have to draw your line in a way touching it now like that perfect now let's see what happened later we can see a perfect 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 match and the candles reverse exactly on this level especially here uh, let's look at the previous one also this one here this is here a support so which one of these is the shortest week the shortest week is this one so I will drag my line in a way touching the shortest week like that by the way when I say the shortest week I don't mean the short in size I mean um, okay I need to explain this uh, let's say we have candles like this and candles like this and a candle like this and a candle like this when I say the shortest one I mean this one here is the very bottom the very bottom of the of the wicks and this one here is the highest one the highest level not short in size but I mean the smallest the shortest one because this is uh, the one at top there is no other week higher than this one I mean I, I think you get what I mean right if we want to to make them as a, as a points if I want to make them as a points we have a point here we have a point here and a point here and a point here which one is the highest this one so you have to draw your line in a way touching the highest point so this is the way that's why here on this oh my god that's why on this support I'm dragging my line to be here touching uh, this guy here the, the last week so it is now like that this is the highest point as I said earlier so let's see what happened later and please check this perfect perfect reversal happened right on this level exactly amazing uh, vice versa for the resistance if I look here at this resistance where is the shortest week among them now there is so many candles there are so many candles but if you want to split it these are all on the same level while these are having different case the the if I want to make them as a point we have a point here a point here and here and here and here and here and here of course so the starter was here this one here the shortest one is this one right the first this uh, pin bar the top of this week is the shortest one so what I need to do now is dragging my line in a way touching this shortest week here like that exactly like that see it guys so let's see what happened after this uh, bearish breakout candle please look what happened the same level of this resistance has become again what 
another resistance and we can see the perfect reversal it happened exactly on this level the candles didn't even go up above above this level they just barely went up and reverse even here and here meaning this level of the resistance was quite strong um, by this I have explained to you the strategy rules now you need to apply the same now on the smaller time frame so now here I know that I am on a support level go now to the smaller time frame 15 minutes or even five minutes it's up to you whichever you want you can pick not a problem at all now apply the same on the bigger time frame now what do we see here we see here a bullish breakout candle and let's scan with our eyes where is the nearest support to this breakout candle the nearest support we have support here and we have here so let me draw my line in a way touching this support here and we can see this is the support and this is a breakout candle and look at that we have uh, the candles has reversed exactly here at this point now the question where should I exit my trade that is the biggest trick of hit and run so many me, uh, people actually failing the strategy because they have no idea where to exit the trades they think this strategy work for long time uh, long trading uh, long term trading that doesn't work unless I will explain later <laughs> so you have entered here now the secret where to exit your trade you should exit your trade at the nearest support or resistance so I have entered here because I saw this is a support right place by here now where to exit you have to exit at the nearest resistance which is here this is the nearest resistance I have and check this out the candles indeed kept going up until hitting this resistance level then went down if you don't know this if you didn't know that you should exit your trade at the nearest resistance or support you will actually lose because now the trend is going against you if you are still holding the position it's easily a loss for you because you didn't apply the rules and the trend now is going down and you are on buy position so if you enter here and you exit here how many pips that would be three pips okay that's because I'm on the five minute time frame that's why I prefer actually 15 minute time frame it gives us easier and more clear uh, picture or image that's why I changed the rules here on this video from four hour to 15 minute time frame not anymore five minutes so again let's apply this rule uh, let me go first to another chart and okay now I am on the AUD GPY and you can see right now I am on a resistance okay now the rules is find your level on the four hour chart now after finding your level switch to the smaller time frame 15 minutes now apply the strategy what you will apply now you will simply apply the strategy as it is um, we have here this breakout candle uh, this one actually it's only just one candle this one here so if I want to apply the strategy I will simply look oh hold on wait a minute we are on a resistance we are now on a resistance meaning we will only look for sell opportunities meaning we need if we need to sell we need to find what guys we need to find the bearish breakout candle so go to the 15 minute time frame try to find the bearish breakout candle here now uh, we can see that here it did not work actually the strategy here failed and that is again very normal it's impossible to find a strategy that works every single time it failed only here if we are if you want to apply it because we see here this uh, long uh, bearish breakout candle uh, we see here a resistance this resistance was supposed to be a resistance here but the candles break out and they are still going up and that's quite normal I mean let's see it somewhere else uh, we have here 
this uh, bullish uh, sorry bearish breakout candle the red one so if i want to scan with my with my eyes where is the nearest resistance to this bearish breakout candle just look by your eyes where is the nearest resistance here you have a support we have a support and aha uh -huh. this is here the nearest resistance so meaning what i will do now is i'm going to sell i will just drag my line like that and wait after the breakout candle after this breakout candle occurs marking this level and i will place my cell right here here i will sell now the question where to exit when you want to exit you should know that you should exit at the nearest support or resistance so the nearest support or resistance is obviously here there is no other support or resistance near to your entry you entered here you will place your cell here so looking at the left where is the nearest support or resistance it's obviously here this is the nearest support and you can see the candles kept going down and down till they hit the same level and then shoot up meaning you should know where to exit your trade if you exit your trade here you will be the winner so let's see how many pips that would have given us uh, almost 12 pips of profit and that is the scalping so the idea again is you always need to look at the bigger time frame and then switch to the smaller time frame and apply the strategy now let me explain something it is possible to apply the hit and run on the bigger time frame it is possible you can just do the opposite go to the weekly weekly time frame and then here apply the rules of hit and run as you know it uh, switched between weekly and four hour chart four hour chart is uh, by itself mm, is not really enough it's okay you can use four hour chart alone but you need to prepare that the candles might actually go against you a uh, long time I mean for example uh, let's say that here uh, I need to find good example hold on let me just check this one out um, uh, just I'm just trying to find a good example guys for example this one here okay applying this on four hour chart alone is really it's actually working but it's risky why uh, we have here the support line here and we have this breakout candle and then you think now let me look at the left where is the nearest support and here it is this is the support so I'm going to place by here well technically yes it worked but it was very risky it was dangerous because you placed your trade here but the candles went against you 22 pips I mean by that time you will be actually scared and you might actually lose uh, close your trade with a loss the reversal happened but it's dangerous it's not it's risky that's why if you want to be sure really if you are willing to risk and willing to enter long-term trades you can apply hit and run but this time instead of switching between four hours to 50 minutes now you will switch uh, from weekly to actually four hour or or one hour which I prefer more because we switch to the smaller time frame to know exactly where is our entry and exit to know exactly in details where we should enter and exit while the bigger time frames are just a way to know what is exactly our levels on the market are we on a support or other or on a resistance um, I think that by this is clear now uh, let me now explain the mistakes people sometimes falling uh, with this uh, strategy uh, let me tell you for example um, when you want to count the breakout sometimes for example here this is the bearish breakout candle or not is it or not the answer is no it's not breakout candle because there is no support on the left that has been breaking out the breakout candle is actually this one this one is the one 
has broke the support or resistance uh, the common mistake people falling to is looking at long candle they think this is the breakout candle for example this one as I said before they think this is a breakout candle or they think here this one it is a breakout candle or this one here the green one or the blue one actually they think oh I have a breakout candle actually no a breakout candle is a breakout candle that has broke a support or resistance level like actually broke it literally we have here for example this support level so this is a support and here it was a support and this bearish breakout candle is the one that has broke this support so this is my breakout candle this is where I have to look now at the left to find a resistance level and then I will place my trade as sell on the same level by the way now look at the spread on IC market it went crazily high that is because it is now 1 a.m. in Dubai time and tomorrow is Friday and you know I'm just uh, taking my time to make this video uh, but this is a way from IC markets to tell you don't trade now avoid trading uh, because now the market is going very low on volatility uh, almost all sessions now are closed so anyway uh, back to the strategy we need also to make sure that when we select our breakout candle that it has actually broke a level of support or resistance every single support and resistance will be breaking out this is ABC Forex every support or resistance will be followed later by a breakout candle no matter how much time it will take <clears throat> even same hour or even after 10 years it will happen it will come any support or resistance will be breaking out so the support has been breaking out by this candle uh, this support has been breaking out by this candle this resistance has been breaking out by this candle uh, this support has been breaking out by this candle every time you see a support or resistance it will be breaking out by a long candle and it is easy to identify not any long candle guys not any long candle it should be a candle that has actually uh, broke this level and it should be a long candle usually full bar another mistake people falling to is for example they see this breakout okay this is not really a breakout candle but I will just uh, act as if it's a breakout candle then they will just look at the, like that at the left and they will look at the resistance here and then they will think okay let me place my trade now when the candle come up here no you have to be careful look at this this candle with this week here it can actually ruin your whole setup you forgot to check this candle this candle has actually went up here then reversed so you have to be sure that for the breakout candle after the breakout candle there is no candle like that after the breakout candle your or sorry the candle you are planning to enter with the buy or sell should be actually coming right after the breakout candle so for example um, let me try to find one example for you guys just hold on I will pause the video I believe we have here a good example when you see for example this resistance like this this is a resistance so you think okay now the candles has broke out from this resistance now I will wait for the candles to place to go up and I'm going to place here sell but what's happening is boom you are losing oh I'm losing why because first of all this is not a breakout okay not any long candles you see is a breakout and also these weeks here meaning that the candles if you want to follow what happened if you want to analyze what if you want to analyze what happened uh, we can see that the candles went down all the way here then go all the way up reversed and then boom fall down meaning the reversal has already happened so you don't really want to do that you have to be careful that what you are searching for is an actually breakout candle and let me tell you now another golden rule when we want to place our trade 
this is by the way perfect example this is a resistance and right after the breakout we can see it was another uh, resistance here so we can place sell here uh, the golden rule is we always aiming the first attempt of a support or resistance even the second attempt is okay now what are the first or second attempts every reversal happening on the support or level or, or resistance is actually considered as an attempt so this is attempt number one the candles went up here and then reversed so this is an actually a reversal attempt number one resistance number one that's why we call it r1 uh, let me tell you that i trust uh, attempt number one more than any other attempt because attempt number one is actually the reversal that i'm seeking uh, we are aiming usually first or second attempt only of the support or resistance we never never ever entering third attempt uh, let me show you example here um, we have here example of support number one and here we have example of support number two but number three never look what happened the candles later went more down so you have to, to be always be sure that when you entering this is support number one and support number two when you entering any trade make sure preferably attempt number one preferably it is gonna increase your winning uh, winning ratio and also it's going to reduce your over trading because actually you might be attracted to keep trading the whole day and the secret to be winner in forex is to reduce your trades to the maximum those successful traders are actually don't like to enter so many trades per day entering so many trades per day meaning the riskier you are going to and there is a possibility of losing so try to avoid your trades to the maximum um, four to five trades per day is enough in my opinion seven maximum but more than that is really not recommended it's not like you want to control your life uh, sorry i mean it's not like you want forex to control your life and you keep trading the whole day try to reduce it by only searching the very trusted setups that actually completing all the strategy rules without any doubt try to avoid any setups that you think mm, maybe it will work yeah yeah i feel like it will work yeah i'm feeling lucky today uh yeah i can now throw the dice and just uh, be lucky as usual i know my luck don't do that don't do that try to always enter the very trusted setups if you don't find them then don't trade as simple as that if you want to keep trading really you are risking your uh, money and in the end you will eventually lose your trade and lose your account and you will blame the strategy <clears throat> let me tell you learning the strategy enough uh, sorry learning the strategy alone is not enough at all as long as you don't have a money management plan <clears throat> and for money management we will talk later about uh, that uh, allow me to show you a few setups that you can later find on uh, go go for i am on the four hour chart uh, let me tell you uh, now here a few setups that you can look for um, here for example hold on no this is no this is not good um, it already happened okay let me see where else I'm just trying to find you examples of uh, setups that you can actually look for and you can apply the strategy yourself and I will tell you where you can apply it actually um, this one has already happened also um, here guys for example on AUDGPY right here right on 79.040 is your good opportunity to place sell allow me to explain the reason because we have here a breakout candle and if we look at the left where is the nearest resistance the nearest resistance this is a support support uh, resistance is very up here aha here is the nearest resistance 
this is a resistance so if the candles go up here I have a chance to place sell and exit my trade at the nearest support or resistance which is right here so I can look for almost 10 pips of profit yeah almost 10 pips of profit if the candles went up all the way here uh, let me just try to find another one for you um, this one has already happened uh, you have here a chance also like that <clears throat> so for the cat JPY on 83.410 you can try to check what happened here because we have here a breakout from this level actually this is not really a breakout candle but I believe if we switch to the bigger time frame daily time frame we can see it actually a breakout so which one did it this one here mm, no 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 I take it back it's not really uh, safe uh, this one here this one here like that now allow me to say why oh sorry actually here yep exactly like that uh, on the CHF JPY on 110.864 you can expect a reversal here why because we have this breakout candle and if we look at the left we see here a support this is the nearest support to this breakout candle again if I want to see scan with your eyes guys scan with your eyes where is the nearest support to this bullish breakout candle the nearest support is here and the right way to draw the support line is as I taught you earlier by touching the highest wick here which is this one here so waiting for these candles to come down here can give you an actual profit and if you want to exit your trade you have to exit your trade at the nearest support which is here right here like that so I will enter here and I will exit my trade right here that should give me a sweet uh, 17 pips of profit and let's see if what I'm saying here hopefully will happen uh, let's go to the last one last example um, not the right run really I want this is the breakout no not here um, so already happened already happened also I'm just trying to find for you the best opportunities so you can check later by yourself you can consider it as a free signals uh, this one here guys on, uh, for GPP we have to be very careful uh, the pound is making really naughty pips uh, these days due to the Brexit news but I'm pretty much sure it will reverse on this support now this is a breakout candle a bullish breakout candle and if you want to look at the left where is the nearest support you might tell me this one but also you have a support here and by the way they are both at the same level exactly so this is actually the nearest support to this breakout candle so once the GBP and ZD fall down to 1.92921 you can actually place buy and exit at the nearest uh, support or resistance which is here so that could give you actually a lot of pips <laughs> 80 pips uh, be careful uh, don't try to chase that many pips using hit and run it's quite dangerous this strategy is only for scalping um, by that guys actually it is shorter than I thought 42 minutes but by that this is the rules of hit and run as simple as that again I will tell you in short terms just just try when you find the the green breakout candle look at the left to find the support levels any support level scan with your eyes where is the nearest the nearest remember the word the nearest support to this breakout candle and wait for the candles to come down all the way to the same level of this nearest support 
and place buy option again at this nearest support vice versa for the bearish breakout candle the red the long red candle look at the nearest support to this breakout candle we have a support a resistance here did i say support no i mean resistance i'm sorry look at this resistance here and we have a resistance here look at the nearest one which is this one this is the nearest resistance to this red breakout candle so wait for the market go, to go more up and place your trade of sell right on this level of uh, resistance the last question is uh, should I select my entry and exit points based on four, 4 hours or 15 minutes the answer is both of them working because when we apply hit and run on 4 hour chart we can see it actually worked um, let me try to find example um, uh, here if I want to apply it here now remember I'm on the 4 hour time frame the strategy is applicable here the support has been another support here after the breakout this is, this is the breakout and if I want to exit my trade I will exit at the nearest resistance which was here and you can see it actually worked so okay not like not, not just that switched back hold on let me just uh, mark this level so we can know where are we like that okay so switch to the 15 minute time frame so we are here actually so I placed my buy option here and if I will exit my trade at the nearest uh, resistance this is the nearest resistance but also we have here the support so if you place your buy option here and you are working based on 15 minute time frame you should actually exit your trade right here but if you are working on the 4 hour time frame you should exit your trade here and you can see both of them has actually worked so short a long question short sorry short question long answer should I select my 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 entry and exit on the bigger time frame or the smaller time frame the answer is both of them actually works but if you want the safer results use the smaller time frame don't follow the big one but it will work but not not conditionally I mean not must be it's not like a must be it's more riskier if you will follow the bigger time frame but if you want to be safe and keep continuously trading successfully follow the smaller time frame and that one actually could give you good pips I mean uh, almost nine pips of profit if you will follow the smaller time frame if you will follow the bigger one that is about 14 pips so guys 46 minutes that's enough I know you hit long videos but I had to make this video to explain to you for the beginners and the new the new joiners what is hit and run strategy prepare guys more videos are coming with the live trading showing you how we can make money using this fantastic strategy until then this was Salah I'm speaking to you I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching